Welcome to Eucanic. Today we have a 2008 Chevy Silverado um, 1500 and we're going through the process to be able to replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor. We are on the right hand side, same prop. Procedure would work for the left hand side also. So um, to be able to gain access to our ABS wheel speed sensor, we have the electrical connection right up here and that's fairly easy to get to. Follow it down here, and our ABS sensor goes in behind this uh, metal plate. But to really get access, we need to remove the rotor. And so, undoing the two um, 18 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper unit on, um, we can remove that and then just set this caliper aside and have it supported over here so that it's not um, resting on the, the brake line itself. And now remove the uh, little T30 bolt that holds this rotor on and then being able to remove the rotor and uh, set that aside and then we can get right into here and you can see this got a little warm and is melted a bunch of our shielding here and whatnot so we need to get that bolt out there and we'll see how easy this comes out all right so we have a five millimeter um, allen to be able to get into the bolt that holds this on and then we're going to loosen it to remove that bolt and now this is where this may or may not come out. It seems to be, yeah, wow. Seems it might come out even though it's all melted. But, oh man. That's good. Couldn't have asked for it to come out any better. So, let's see. So, we've got a bunch of metal in there, but there we go. So that was our removal there. Um, clean that up. And now, being able to pop these clips off, our new one comes with, double check, I know it comes with this one. So we've got our new one here and all new clips so nothing that we need to uh, extremely worry about saving because we'll just be able to use the new ones. All right, so continuing to work our way up, get all these clips undone. And same one with this top one here. And there we go. And so we just need to depress this little clip right there. Be able to open that up and remove our old ABS wheel speed sensor. And now we install this either way, whether you go from the top down or the bottom up, it doesn't matter as long as we get everything back to where it's supposed to go. That connection. There we go, it's made. And now, reaching up in here, reconnect our little connector there. And then we have this clamp mechanism there. 
and then this one to finalize that and bringing our sensor in here and being able to Okay, kind of getting it in there and then taking our five millimeter Allen with the little bolt that holds our ABS wheel speed sensor in there and being able to snug that up, holds that all into place. And then asking for our tool back. All right, well, we got it back. Anyway, so there we go. So now, that we replaced our ABS wheel speed sensor here. Um, and then just go ahead and put your uh, rotor back on, caliper, mount everything back up, put your tire back on, and that's how you would replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor if you have an issue with it and you need to do that. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.